the dumb blonde character was so successful and so lovable that I was reluctant to give up any part of that at all. Maybe he's a burglar. <laughs> oh, sure. He came in to steal the bathtub and fell asleep on the job. I really wanted to continue with that, which seemed to please the audience, because it is all about those people at home who turn on the set. But what about Suzanne? How do you feel being stereotyped as the dumb blonde? I don't know so much if I am, but I think people are aware of the fact that Suzanne Somers plays a dumb blonde character. I hope they know I play it well. I prob they probably do, because so many people believe that's who I really was, or am, or will be. I'm so glad I did that show. It made me, it gave me everything. It uh, was the chance that everyone hopes to get. <laughs> well, uh, you gotta get out of those clothes. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Do you think you're taken seriously as a comedian? I think the public takes me seriously as a comedian. Uh, I will always feel um, in part successful for Three's Company. Um, I share their success with them right now. I was there in the beginning and I, 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 I feel that the public took me seriously. I don't know if the press always does, but I take myself seriously as a comedian. You can't help yourself, Chrissy. So. I'm afraid you know what the answer's got to be. Yeah, you'll have to be strong enough for both of us. <laughs> How would you like people to think of Suzanne Somers? Well, I would like them to know that I'm multidimensional. Uh, where I want to go is not so much in terms of projects. Where I want to work with the best people. I think that is, that is the... Um, the luxury that comes with achieving any success or fame is uh, the more success you achieve, the better uh, quality people you get to work with. And so therefore, I guess I would like to work with all the best directors. And obviously, if I'm working with the best directors, I will be working with the best material. My interests are um, very musical. I, I really enjoy entertaining in a good old-fashioned way. If I, I, One of the most rewarding things was the response. They loved it. They loved the show. And they f kept feeding me, so the more they would feed me with their appreciation, the more I was able to give back to them. Real nice exchange. Come in the kitchen and show me what you've got. <laughs> All I want to do is work. All I want to do is make you feel good. It really is as simple as that. I'm positive uh, about myself and what I'm doing, and if I never achieve anything more than I've achieved right now, I'll be happy. This, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a gardener's daughter from San Bruno, California, and I never dreamed I'd get this far. I just would like people to enjoy me. That's why I'm doing it. Whatever happened to the sexual revolution? Your side lost. <laughs> Do you really mean it, though, when you say that if you could never work again in Hollywood, that you'd be happy? I don't believe I would ever allow that to happen. I'm uh, a survivor and an achiever, and uh, I, I just, no matter what happens, I'll pick myself up and, and keep on going. And uh, I just, I'm quite lucky because I have a very solid personal life, so that therefore when things are not going well in my career, which no career can be consistent all the time. No career. So you have to be confident enough and have a strong personal life. I would never compare myself to anybody. I am uniquely myself. Whether you like that or whether you don't like that, I am unique, uniquely myself. And whatever I achieve in terms of comedy and, and uh, my career will be uniquely my way, not the way anyone else has done it. <laughs>